Hi, my name's Richard Morris, I'm with Select, I'm 19, I've been modelling for about a year, maybe a year of three months, and I got scout at Reading Festival, not this year, the year beforehand. When I was first got scouted, I was coming back from band Jimmy World, uh, going back to my tent, quite intoxicated, to put it mildly. <laughs> and yeah, someone from Select Dunia yeah, came up to me and um, handed me this card about modelling, and I was quite interested, because it was quite a nice ego boost. And um, yeah, but first of all I had to call my sister who knows a lot about fashion to make sure I wouldn't end up in someone's basement in my underwear, not ever seeing my family again, yeah. <laughs> it's a very childish thing, but I always thought it would be really awesome since I was about seven to have like a house, but a bouncy castle house. <laughs> but it would be so awesome, like, I'm in bed, I just roll out, just fall all the way down through the kitchen. Um, I'm quite a big football fan, so I would have it with Pele, the footballer, the Brazilian footballer, because I think he's the best footballer ever, and I'd be quite interested to hear about footballing stories and just be in awe of him genuinely. Well, my last holiday was a last holiday, which you obviously assume would go Magaluf, Malia, somewhere like that, but um, the rugby coach at my school had been to Gdansk in Poland, which was meant to be a really lively new student town and really good like that, so we decided it was really, really cheap. You could get a pint of beer for 50p, which does appeal to me and my friends quite drastically. We went Gdansk, Sopop, um, and Gdynia. Had a brilliant time. Yeah, that was the main thing. We researched it. It was like, yeah, you can get 50p a pint in a club. So usually I spend about 50, 60 quid going out in a club, get away with a tenner. There is a list of many, mostly which when I'm drunk. Um, the stupidest one is probably, I was at my friend's house, that's about the age of 15, and um, we got quite drunk, and one of my friends decided to jump down his staircase, which is quite a large staircase, and there was wooden flooring at the bottom, and he made it about halfway, and was like, oh, that was well cool, that was well cool, no one could beat that. I'm quite competitive even when drunk, so I went, I bet I can jump further than that. He's like, I bet you'll be, you can't. So I went, okay. So I took a run up and leapt and cleared the whole staircase, bounced on the wooden floor about three times and had a bruise about that size of my kneecap and couldn't walk properly for about a month. It wasn't clever. After, it's not, it's, there's other stuff as well, just probably best not mentioning. No, but I have had some weird dreams in the past. Um, it was basically a zombie apocalypse where I was held up at my school with all my friends and some teachers. But instead of zombies, it was dwarfs. And if they touched you, you turned into a dwarf. <laughs> like, I don't know, either dwarfs or gnomes, kind of like, you know Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs? Like those type of things, <laughs> just chasing around. And then, the weirdest image of, I can remember is just me killing some of them and an image of you killing dwarfs in your head is one that you're never going to forget and it just woke up the next morning like what the hell happened? Did I take something by accident or...? <laughs> it was very strange. There was the one that's actually in Fiasco that um, had to pretend I was like boyfriend of a girl and then there was another girl there and they were videoing it and had to have like a conversation with a temporal couple who didn't speak a word of English and it was absolutely hilarious just cracking up the whole time and just because uh, what do you say to someone that can't respond to you just like yeah um from Narnia just came out of wardrobe this morning my uncle's prince in Nigeria and she's just like yes yes <laughs> well I'm terrible with fashion so I don't know anything in fact, when I went to meet Mario Testino with my sister, we got there and I introduced myself to him and talked to him and it turns out I got his name wrong, I called him Mario Testi. Yeah, it wasn't brilliant. And then I also, I thought, because Kate Moss went to the same secondary school as me, and um, so he, he realised when I said what school and where I was from. And um, he was like, oh, so obviously, you, did you know anything? Because she lived around you. I was like, oh no, she's, she was a couple of years above me, so I didn't ever see her at school. Yeah, it turns out, She's like 15 years older than me. So he was like, you do realise she's like 
35 or something. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> but I did make him laugh a couple of times, so that can't be a bad thing. 